Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to make this video to give a warning as to why not everyone should be eating a ketogenic diet and why it can actually be harmful for some people. But before I go into that, I first want to say I am not against a ketogenic diet. I was working with a client today and she does not do well on a high carbohydrate plant-based diet. So I recommended a ketogenic diet to her. But as I said to her, when you go on a ketogenic diet, make sure that you get your cholesterol tested on a regular basis because some people's LDL will go through the roof and some people it doesn't. And there is a specific reason why this can happen with some people. So this condition, which I'm going to call FH because I cannot pronounce it, is a disorder that is passed down through families. It causes LDL cholesterol levels to be very high. This condition begins at birth and can cause heart attacks at an early age. And as it goes on to say here, it's a genetic disorder. It's caused by a defect on chromosome 19. This defect makes the body unable to remove low density lipoprotein, known as LDL cholesterol, from the blood. So what that's going to do is when you're on a ketogenic diet and you're eating foods that contain cholesterol, which are normally from meat and animal based foods, your body is just going to not be able to process and remove the LDL cholesterol from your blood, which is gonna make you have chronically high LDL levels, which can be very, very dangerous. And yeah, and what the effect that this can have is, is more than likely to have narrowing of the arteries from atherosclerosis at an early age. The condition is typically passed down through families in an autosomal dominant manner. That means you only need to get the abnormal gene from one parent in order to inherit this disease. And yeah, if you've got this and yeah, you're eating a ketogenic diet, it's going to cause the issue that I mentioned, but also it's going to give you such a higher risk of heart disease and heart attack. And it's going to shorten your maximum life expectancy and have a whole host of other issues. And yeah, it's gonna clog up your arteries, which in turn can cause things such as stroke, fatigue and dizziness, shortness of breath, chest pain, lower back pain, erectile dysfunction, painful, numb or cold hands and feet. That's just a few of the different issues that it can cause, but many others it can cause as well. So as it shows in this scientific research that I found, it talks about the dietary treatment of this condition, FH. And yeah, I'm not gonna read out the full study, you can read it yourself, but yeah, I'll read out a little bit of it now. But it says, with this condition, that both cholesterol and saturated fat downregulate the LDL receptor and inhibit the removal of LDL from the plasma by the liver. And saturated fat also downregulates the LDL receptor especially when cholesterol is concurrently present within the diet. The total amount of dietary fat is also important. So yeah, as they go on and on and on throughout this, that you really want to be having no dietary cholesterol at all or very minimal, and you wanna be careful with consuming a lot of saturated fat as well. Because yeah, your body is just gonna have chronically elevated levels of LDL otherwise as I've mentioned and yeah it's just not good at all. So this is why a ketogenic diet does not work for some people. So yeah for people that have this condition I would recommend getting in a whole foods plant-based high carbohydrate diet because it works a lot better for people that have this type of issue with this genetic disorder specifically. So yeah, I just wanted to make people aware of this because a lot of people are not aware of this. And yeah, there's some people that get on a ketogenic diet and it works so well for them. And I'd highly recommend sticking to it if you feel good with it. But yeah, make sure you're getting your cholesterol levels checked on a regular basis. And if you want to get genetic testing done, you can get it done by 23andMe. And I'll put a link down below for them. So yeah, just be very mindful around how you're feeling and your cholesterol levels because yeah, you don't want to be switching to a ketogenic diet and thinking that it's going to work for you and then it starts to destroy your health and then you start wondering why am I not feeling so good and this could be the reason why. 
So yeah, I will also put a link down below for this study in case you want to read it in more detail. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to hear about what I shared with you today in relation to a ketogenic diet and why it cannot work with some people. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis where I'm talking about one meal a day and showing you what I eat for my one meal. Also calisthenics workout and calisthenics progression videos, intermittent fasting informational videos and many other different videos to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body that you desire, the physique and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when I upload new videos and new ones are coming every single day without fail. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.